Hello everyone, it's GCSE Revision here and today I'm bringing you a new segment called GCSE Maths Workout. Now this is more of a free segment that we're going to be doing and it's not like the core revision videos that are up on my channel but it's a more free and relaxed session where we're just going to look at some problems we already know sort of solve them by doing some questions and consolidating our knowledge on it. Right, so today's segment is going to be fairly straightforward as we're going to be looking at Pythagoras' theorem. So there is a rule connecting the side lengths of right angle triangles and it's called Pythagoras' theorem and it's true for all triangles with a right angle. So take note and write that down. Finding one side of a right angle triangle when you have the other two is very easy and that's because we all know his famous formula that is a squared plus b squared equals c squared where on a right angle triangle, this being the right angle here, one side is labelled a squared, the other one b squared and then the third one, hypotenuse, c squared. Right, so now that we know the formula and we know what it should look like, we're going to take this into practice and start solving some questions. Right, here we have a triangle, the right angle being located down here, and we're going to label this side A squared, this side B, that side squared. We'll put the squares on. Right, so we'll say A squared is about 8 centimetres, B squared is approximately 5 centimetres, but we have no clue what C squared is because they won't give it to you in the exam. Right, so now let's go about answering this question. Now, we all know the formula, so we start off with that, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Right. So now we're going to substitute in the values into the equation, which should give us 8 squared, oh, whoops, being um, side a plus 5 squared being side b is equal to c squared, which we still don't know. However, we do know what 8 squared is, and we do know what 5 squared is, because in the exam you will have your calculator on you. So, we do 8 squared, which is equal to 64, and 5 squared, which is equal to 25. So we do 64 plus 25, equals, and that should give us c squared. So 64 plus 25, which is 89. So c squared is equal to 89. Now, you can't give your answer as c squared. You're going to have to give it as c. So what you do, you get the square root function on your calculator, and you put in 89, which is the answer, and that leaves you with the final answer of 9 point four three three to this degree of accuracy. It depends what the test is asking you for to leave it within a decimal point or two decimal points. It really doesn't matter as long as you do write it down correctly. And yeah, that's our answer for here. So we'll label it on here 9.43. And that's our answer. Right, so we'll do another example now. We'll get a slightly different Triangle here, this isn't drawn to scale, with a wrinkled up here. Right, so we have this side being, you know what, this time we'll write in c squared, 9 metres. We'll also write in a squared, which is 7 metres. And we will leave b squared alone, because we don't know what it is. So it's a, c and b. Now... If you're thinking, whoa, 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 now what do we do with the formula? It's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. What we do is we're going to have to change the formula slightly and make it c squared minus a squared equals b squared, which is fairly straightforward. Right, so as we've done before, we take our value for, no, we'll start off with c this time. So c. And we will do 9 squared minus a squared, which is 7 squared, is equal to b squared, which we still don't know what it is. So with our calculators, we do 9 squared, which is 
81 minus 7 squared, which is 49, equal to 3 squared. So we'll do 16, oh, whoops, uh, 81 minus 49 is equal to 32. So 32 must equal B squared. So now we do the square root of 32 to get B, which is in the, I'm black for this, 5.65. And never forget to leave your units. So it's 5.65 meters, and we'll label that onto here. 5.65 meters. Right, and that should be all the marks. If you leave your working out as I've shown here, obviously a little bit neater. I'm doing this on a whiteboard, so it's harder to see. So if you leave that out there, that should be perfectly full marks, and you'll get them all right on the test. So yeah, thank you for watching, to guys, today in our GCSE Maths workout session. And I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll be bringing a lot more videos like this in the new future. So like and subscribe for more of them, and I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, thank you, and goodbye.